guys. Uh, loving the show so far. I've only seen two episodes, but it's it's really good. Um, I would I would say the one thing I think that connects all three of your characters is probably ambition. It feels like they will stop at kind of nothing to kind of get what they want. In terms of you guys connecting to the characters as they are kind of career driven, is that something you guys can relate to on those terms? As people who have all worked so hard to get where you are now, do you, is that what you use as your your in? I suppose. Like we have to fight. We. I mean, I'm not. I don't know about you. I, I know a bit about your career. You told me. And it, but about I mean the way you felt it, so you'll talk about it. But I feel that I had to fight a lot to reach that point, and now it's getting a bit smoother. <laughs> but uh, so, but I I never fought in terms of ambition. It was just in terms of of passion, like really. I I just it's just that I I think the diff. I don't know, maybe Sabine Luzo, my character, is also following, I think, something a bit uh, uh, truthful, at least truthful with her ethical point of views. And this is why at some point she has to say no and she, she, say, she, say, she says no too many things. But, um, yeah, that's different. Um, I don't know. I, passion is more strong than ambition for me. For me, uh, it's true that it's a pers it's a character driven by a lot of ambition, and if she didn't have this ambition, she wouldn't be where she was because uh, I'm the head of the DGSE in the fiction, and it's a it's a it's a, everybody would in spite of a lot of people who would like to have her position, she has to defend it. She knows she's a woman; it's not easy in this kind of position, and also a lot of people would like to take her uh, her place. And uh, she has an ambition to defend France also and to defend uh, the, uh, the secret service. And she has the ambition to defend the public service against the commercial and private service. She has a, an idea of what defense should be. Uh, and she trusts that she's entitled to this position. And she has to defend it every minute in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. Il veut savoir l'ambition de ton ouais, personnage, l'ambition dans le personnage, euh, et puis aussi par rapport à vous. Oui, 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 oui alors, pas, pas, pas en droit à moi, sinon on s'en fout, mais c'est. C'est euh, ouais, ouais, je sais, mais, mais raison, je, je m'en fous quand même. Mais euh, c'est euh, le, le caractère de, du, du tarot, c'est. C'est un, un, un homme suicidaire qui veut jouer. Euh, Il est un intellectuel, c'était ça qui était compliqué parce qu'il est, il est quelqu'un qui a fait une, une grande école. Euh, il a fait, je sais pas, l'ENA, Sciences Po, mais il, il, il est au niveau parce que c'est un type qui est là pour la sécurité. Mais il a, le, le, il, a, il, a, il a des compétences intellectuelles, politiques assez poussées, il pas là par hasard. Euh, après, euh, je pense que c'est quelqu'un qui est devenu fou. Pourquoi ça C'est ce qu'on est souvent, ça suffit. Hein. Donc euh, voilà, quand on incarne les choses comme on peut quoi. Et, euh, et, on, et finalement il va aller vers euh, vers le vers le suicide pour moi c'est un, un personnage qui va qui, qui, qui est, contrairement aux autres euh, il n'est il n'a pas envie de vivre il est il, il y a plus rien ne le rattache à la vie plus rien après pour moi dans son cœur peut-être mais je sais pas si ça se verra c'est pas le sujet du film euh, à son enfant mais mais sinon sinon non sinon c'est quelqu'un qui va euh, qui joue qui joue un jeu euh, machiavélique et qui qui met tout le monde à sa perte et, et qui veut pas forcément tout le monde à sa perte je Quand sais même. pas mais <rire> probablement mais en tout cas euh, il, il veut pas vivre et il sait qu'il joue avec plus fort que lui et plus dangereux que lui aussi j'ai rien dit moi je sais pas j'ai pas balancé non, non, Tarot, my character, I would say that he's a suicidal character, only interested in, in playing a game. Uh, he's really an intellectual. He's got an excellent uh, education and uh, he's got political and intellectual skills, you know, to do what he does that is working in security. But um, 
in a way, he is approaching uh, madness. And uh, I think once we know uh, who we play and uh, what are the drives and what is the character of uh, the per the the character, which is the funny thing in English, uh, that that really helps and it's sufficient. But uh, I think, in a way, um, he's not any more attached uh, to life. You know, uh, maybe uh, the last connection he's got with it is his own child. But he's playing this kind of Machiavellian uh, game, though he does know very well that. Uh, what is in front of him or who's in front of him is actually much stronger and that drives him towards death. I would say that none of these characters, oh well, all of them have in common that they don't sleep, probably. <laughs> you know, they are obsessed. Yeah. And uh, so, of course, for that reason, they are probably a little bit crazy also because they are... Uh, they are obsessed and they are obsessed with dark matters. Mm. And uh, that makes it, of course, the thriller that it is. Yeah. Because I, I imagine when you sign up to any project, you always want to do lots of research. Is that especially quite difficult when you're making a, a show and telling a story that's set in the world of kind of politics and espionage? Because naturally, uh, so much is kind of kept under wraps. Was it hard for you guys to, to get to the truth of what's, what's really happening? For me, I, I read a lot and I saw a lot of uh, in interviews. Where do you come from when you're head of the DGC? What training have you done? Uh, are you coming from the military? You know, uh, how do you get into the Secret Service? How do you get all, all to this level? And uh, and how? What are you thinking about? What are the all the situations in a daily? life that you have to deal with. So reading a lot of about people telling about their experiences gives you an idea also of what it is on in the field, what, what are you processing all the time. Uh, of course, something that is very uh, uh, grounded and undergrounded and also a very quick uh, anticipation of what's happening. Nowadays, all the information are getting to us so fast that we don't have time to process it. And all these characters have to answer to these informations in such a quick way. So this is a little bit how to prepare the, not the character, but the energy, maybe the, the rhythm. Can, can, I was wondering, can playing roles like this ever make you kind of skeptical about the world we live in, the people around us? I was sec uh, skeptical before, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, <it's true. laughs> didn't change. Just it got it got worse, because now I really realize it can happen anytime, and it happened. Like cyber attacks before, it was uh, totally imaginary. Now it's it's really happening. So sorry, guys, it's coming. No, mais <laughs> on espère quand même qu'ils sont pires dans le film que dans la vie. We hope that they're worse in the uh, show than in real life. T'as dit l'inverse. Yeah. I'm not so sure. I'm not 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 sure. I'm to, uh, to be, to, they are all a bit borderline also, meaning uh, if we think of Vincent and uh, Eva also, meaning they, they don't, uh, they try to have their own um, trajectory instead of, uh, yeah, they are meaning uh, just to say it's, it's not very clear how they, they, they are surprising. We don't, don't, don't know also. I think this is about, it's about people. This is what we mean, uh, we think, oh, they have their own obsessions and we, we depend on that, on this sometimes. A persuasion, yeah. a power of persuasion, a power of... No, I think obsession is a key word. But I'm looking forward to seeing whether the story goes from here, but thank you so much. Thank and best you. of luck with the release of the show. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys!
Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!